Bronx grandparents were the toast of the town at the 7th Annual Grandparents Ball held this year at the historic Andrew Friedman Home, a New York City designated landmark building that opened its doors as a home for seniors back in 1922. With last year's celebration in Harlem, Grandparents Around the World, an organization dedicated to building bridges between the elderly and young kids, felt the mansion was the best spot to honor 12 people for their outstanding work. Deputy Borough President Aurelia Green was there to salute them. Oh, I think it's absolutely wonderful. It is so great to recognize people who have really given of themselves. They've sacrificed a lot. Mistress of Ceremonies, B. Montgomery, producer of Mothership on Time Warner Lifestyle. This is my third year hosting it for, uh, for the grandparent organization. And, it, and it's just awesome to see so many uh, grandparents that are being honored and respected and recognized. Among the honorees, pediatrician Dr. Somsri Ratanapra Sutborn, who is originally from Thailand, who has a practice on Staten Island. She thanked her family, including her grandchildren, for their support and shared some of her duties around the house when she's not working. I want to share this honor with my late husband, who's a visionary man. 92-year-old Roosevelt Milner flew in from Chicago to celebrate the day. And I done saw the good, the bad, and the ugly. And I done lived to be 92 years old. And I have saw some changes made. While some traveled from a few states away, others were closer to home, like grandmother Maritza Martinez. Usually grandparents are the ones that attend family celebrations, um, weddings, graduations, birthdays. So I feel very uh, lucky to be here and be recognized. Su Chin thanked her husband of 56 years and her senior care provider. With families on either side of the podium, grandparents had their chance to say thank you and to bask in the sunlight of their many contributions, even while the rain threatened to change their plans. Sometimes their work goes unnoticed, but not today, as they continue their celebration with their families. For BronxNet, this is Arlene Makoko.